Lubbock firefighters tell us their rule of thumb is that fire doubles in size every four minutes. Add grease to the mix and that can progress even faster. Of course, when it comes to Thanksgiving, the turkey is the star of the show. If you're not careful when cooking your bird, especially if you like to it deep fried, it can quickly get disastrous. KLBK's Jaxie Pigeon shows us how fast things can go south if safety isn't top of mind. While it's a great time for family and friends, Thanksgiving can come with distractions. The Macy's Parade, the Cowboys game, and the next thing you know... People get busy. Uh, we even see sometimes people leave the house, they'll run to the store real quick, and, and by the time they get back, a lot of times they'll find the fire department there at their house. The National Fire Protection Association says there are more home fires on Thanksgiving than any other day of the year. The biggest thing we want people to do is just make sure that they pay attention and they're present when they're cooking. Unattended cooking fires, and that accounts really for the majority of all the cooking fires. Wilson says a frozen turkey and hot oil are a recipe for disaster. That water around that frozen turkey hits a hot oil. All that hot oil is going to come out. It's going to hit the, the flame on the bottom of that burner. And the result is a very large fireball that a lot of times can injure people and or catch anything around it on fire. If your bird does burst into flames. The biggest thing people do, particularly with grease fires, is they put water on it. And hot grease and water absolutely do not mix. Another misnomer is, is people go to put flour on a fire. And a lot of times you can end up with a bigger fireball. So just leave the area, call the fire department, cover it with a lid, turn off that stove, and use a fire extinguisher are always good tips in the home. If you're brave enough to use the fryer, Wilson has advice to keep your turkey and family out of trouble. We want to fry that turkey away from the house or anything combustible. The second thing is, is make sure that that turkey is thawed, completely thawed. But depending on the size of that turkey, that may take a day or two. Uh, once you've thawed that turkey, we want to make sure to open it up, pat it dry, get as much of the water or any residual ice or anything left over in that. That definitely maximizes your chance to have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Jaxie Pigeon, KLBK News.